Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 13.3, which was just released, as well as future iOS 13 firmwares that are not supported by the Checkrain jailbreak utility upon their immediate release. Coming in, yeah, flex. I just want to win. Because Checkrain is powered by the all-powerful Checkmate exploit, it cannot be patched by Apple with new firmware releases. It actually lies within the silicon of the chips themselves, so it is taking advantage of a hardware vulnerability that, again, Apple can't patch with software. So you'll be able to use Checkrain to jailbreak basically every single version of iOS 13. So this guide will be updated based on whichever firmware is current when you are watching this video. So with that said, we're about to get into all of the steps, but I wanna highlight the caveats first because there are a number of them. First and foremost, this will not work on the iPhone XS and up. So like this iPhone 11 Pro Max right here cannot jailbreak with Checkrain. It will never be able to jailbreak with Checkrain, no matter what. And that is because of the aforementioned low-level boot ROM Checkmate exploit. Like I said, it lies within the silicon itself, so that means the chip. The iPhone 10 is powered by the A11 CPU, so it only works up to the A11. Everything lower is fine, but everything higher is not supported. So you can't jailbreak with the iPhone XS series, including the iPhone XR, or even the iPhone 11 series using this jailbreak. But new jailbreaks will come as a direct result of this utility because it's meant for security researchers to be able to find new kernel level exploits that again will apply for those newer devices. So just know that and down below in the description there is actually a link to our a12 and a13 jailbreak status checker page now this page will be updated the second a jailbreak is released for newer devices including again things like the iphone 10s max 10s 10r 2018 ipad pro models the iphone 11 11 pro and 11 pro max bookmark this page and when a jail breaks out this red no will change to a green yes now next this only supports mac os for now so down below in the description in addition to that a12 and a13 jailbreak status checker page there is also one for windows when a windows jailbreak is out Theoretically, there is a way to jailbreak on Windows, but it's very complex. It involves actually installing Linux on your machine and then getting a virtual machine with macOS inside of said virtual machine set up and configuring IOMMU for USB to actually get this thing to work. Right now, the developers only officially support macOS, and the main reason for that is drivers. It's just so much easier to develop for macOS. Windows is missing the necessary drivers. Moreover, the security researchers that I talked about when mentioning A12 and A13 CPUs mostly utilize Mac OS, so it just makes sense to support them out of the gate and then to include wider support later once they do iron out some of the kinks with the initial release. So that's why Windows isn't supported yet, and that's why the iPhone XS and up to the iPhone 11 will never be supported by Checkrain, but they will be jailbroken, just not by Checkrain. And also on that subject, for more information about anything and everything related to jailbreaking, as well as updates along the way, be sure to subscribe. I'm going to keep you guys fully in the loop. Now, next, the final limitation is not really so much of a limitation as it is a trade-off. This jailbreak is a semi-tethered jailbreak, which means that anytime your device reboots, you actually have to plug it into the computer and rerun Checkrain to boot it tethered and use your jailbreak stuff. So anything you obtain via Cydia, any tweaks that you install, you'll have to actually boot tethered to be able to use them. But because of that, you will be able to jailbreak on actually every single firmware that Apple releases, which is what I talked about at the beginning of this video because of that hardware exploit, which is so very cool. It is a trade-off, but it's one that's well worth it in my opinion. Now, we're about to get into the steps. I'm gonna show you guys that this iPhone is in fact running iOS 13.3, but it really doesn't matter. It could be running 13.4 once that's released. These steps will still work for you. So with that said, now, I want you guys to navigate to the link down below in the description. The very first one, it is our in-depth jailbreak tutorial. Tons of steps here of how to actually jailbreak on your device. I want you guys to scroll down right now though to this green Checkrain button to actually download Checkrain. Once you are redirected to the official Checkrain site, click on get the beta now and then download the latest version of Checkrain. 
And once it is downloaded, just navigate to your downloads and mount the disk image or .dmg file. And then you just need to drag Checkrain over into your applications folder. So drag it inside of applications. And if you already have a previous version of Checkrain installed, you'll receive this pop-up asking you to either replace it, keep both or stop. Obviously we wanna replace because we want the latest version of Checkrain, whatever that happens to be when you're watching this video. Now you need to launch Checkrain from within inside the applications folder itself. And once you do, you'll receive this pop-up stating that Checkrain cannot be opened because the developer cannot be verified. Now these are just security precautions put in place by Apple to help you when downloading things from the internet. Checkrain is completely fine though. So you can click on cancel. The other option is to move it to trash, but we wanna click on cancel. And you need to open it from applications first to actually get that pop-up and to even get what I'm about to show you guys right now, because now you have to load system preferences preferences and then go to security and privacy. Once on that page, you'll receive this little message right here where it says Checkrain was blocked from use because it is not from an identified developer. So click to the right of that where it says open anyway, and then on this pop-up, click open. Now we need to launch Checkrain one more time from the applications folder to ensure that you can in fact open it. Now I want you guys to close out of it because you're going to see why. When I connect my device to my computer, and you may have encountered this already, which might be why you are on this tutorial in the first place, you'll receive this message. It says, sorry, iPhone 10 is supported, but iOS whatever is not based on whenever you're watching this video. Right now it's 13.3. So close out of Checkrain. Now that we've confirmed that we can open it successfully, we're basically good to go. Now I want you guys to create a backup inside of Finder. If you are on Mac OS and if you happen to be on Windows or you own a Windows computer and you're just borrowing a friend's computer to jailbreak, then you can back up inside of iTunes. As long as you have your data backed up wherever it happens to be and you can restore back from it, you're good to go. This is just something that you know is helpful. It's a precaution that you can take to ensure that you don't lose any data. So inside of Finder, it's right here. You need to navigate to your device tab. And uh, once you do that, then you can click on backup. If it's the first time connecting your device to your computer, you need to click on trust on your computer as well as tapping it on your device and then input your device's passcode. And then you should be able to access it through there and you can back it up just like that. Now we need to enter recovery mode to actually bypass that screen inside of Checkrain that stops you if you're on an unsupported firmware. Now the link that's down below in the description will have steps for how to enter recovery mode for your device if you own anything other than an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 8. Um, those are the devices that most people who are trying to utilize Checkrain use however, so that's what I'm going to show you on this iPhone 10. So you do need to be connected via USB. And I happen to notice that for whatever reason, Checkrain doesn't seem to play nice with USB type C. So if you have a Mac that only has USB type C ports, you're probably going to have to use a USB A to lightning cable and then just use an adapter for that type A style USB connector to USB type C. I know it kind of sucks, but uh, if for whatever reason Checkrain doesn't work for you, it's worth trying a USB type A cable. That's what I had to do on my MacBook Pro. So now that we are connected to our computer, we can enter recovery mode, iPhone 8 and 10. It's very simple, just press volume up, let go, press volume down, let go, and then hold the side button and just keep holding it. I want you guys to hold it for a long time, so definitely make sure your thumb is prepared. Hold it through this slide to power off screen. Don't even really interact with that. And then hold it through this black screen, through the Apple logo that's about to come up and just keep holding it until you receive the recovery screen on your device. And then of course, Finder will pop up on your Mac. So just keep holding. And once you see this screen, you're good to go and you can open up Checkrain once more. So now you'll notice that when Checkrain is open with a device connected inside of recovery mode, it detects it and it actually lets you click start. So let's go ahead and click on start and it's just going to tell you to enter DFU mode and it's going to prepare you for how to do that. It's very simple. You can actually bypass this screen by entering it right now or you can follow along with the steps after you hit start. But basically you're just holding the side button as well as volume down for about four seconds. Then you release the side button and you wanna continue holding volume down. 
So let's go ahead and hit start just so you guys can get an idea of this process. So we're holding these buttons down together and then releasing the side button and continuing to hold volume down. I found that for that first initial step where you hold the side and volume down, you don't need to hold it down for quite as long. And then it should automatically bypass that inside of checkering. It may take a few times, but practice makes perfect. You're going to have to get used to entering it anyway. And you can see the scrolling text screen here on our iPhone. We're just waiting for this to complete. Um, it has already exploited it and we are basically jailbroken at this point. Okay, so now that we are rebooted, we're going to slide up, input our passcode, and we can actually unplug from our computer. We no longer need it. Everything else is done on device because we are already jailbroken. You do need to be connected to the internet for this next part because it has to actually download Cydia. So now I want you guys to open up the Checkering application, tap on where it says Cydia, followed by install Cydia, and it's going to go out and download the base system for Cydia, install it, and uh, it will look as though it crashes, but once it does, you will have Cydia in a blank space on your device's springboard, just like that and you can open up Cydia, and now you're jailbroken. How fantastic is that, guys? And you'll notice that once Cydia opens, you might have a few updates to install, and you'll receive a pop-up similar to this that says Essential Upgrade with few options. I want you guys to tap on Complete Upgrade. I'm going to ignore it just for a second to show you something on the main page here, and then I'll install them. So I'm gonna scroll down, and you'll notice that Cydia confirms at the bottom through the identifying text that this is an iPhone 10,3, the identifier for the global iPhone iPhone 10 running iOS 13.3. So how awesome is that, guys? iOS 13.3 was just released. Like, I literally mean just released a couple of hours ago, and we are already jailbroken on it. I mean, this is just total throwback time to the days of red snow and lime rain. I can't, I just can't believe it. I'm at a loss for words. We're already jailbroken. <laughs> so for those of you who are new to the scene, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to install something. So let's just go through this process to install the updates here. And most times we'll receive a message that says restart springboard. Sometimes it'll say return to Cydia. If it doesn't require a full respring, this time it does. So we can just tap on restart springboard. It's basically like a soft reboot. So it's not a full fledged reboot, but it does essentially restart the springboard and you don't actually have to boot tethered when you respring. You can respring to your heart's content without having a computer. Um, so you could theoretically go for, well, as long as your device stays powered up. So as long as you don't let it die and you don't install any sort of incompatible tweaks that force you into having to reboot into the no substrate mode with your computer, then you'll be good to go. I mean, you only need a computer when you actually have to reboot and reboot tethered. Um, you can also just fully reboot and use your regular system application. So anything you'd be able to use in your non jailbroken state, you'll be able to use once you reboot and you'll just have to boot tethered to actually use Cydia or anything from Cydia. Cydia will just crash when you try to open it if you aren't booted tethered. Uh, that's just because the exploit doesn't persist through into the boot and it's so low level that it has to be done inside of DFU mode. So guys, that is how to jailbreak unsupported firmwares inside of Checkrain, the best way to do so. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's very simple, honestly, and it doesn't take long to boot tethered either. All you have to do is just connect to USB, enter recovery mode, open up Checkrain, Click on start, enter DFU mode, and boom, you're done. You don't have to reinstall Cydia again once you have it installed the first time. Now, if you need to know what to actually get from Cydia, we have a few top tweaks videos I highly recommend checking out, link down below in the description. And if you wanna be notified anytime we release new ones and or when we cover anything else related to jailbreaking, obviously subscribe. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.